Welcome everyone, it is John and Heather. And me. And we're back with another adventure. And yes, that is a T-Rex skeleton. And we are at the McClung Museum here at downtown Knoxville at UT campus. Got some really cool stuff in here. We're gonna go check it out, so follow us. Okay, this first room has a lot of cool artifacts, including as you see. I'm gonna show you guys some highlights here that we like. And this museum is mixed. There's everything. It's not like one theme. So. Yeah. So it's a lot, and you it's guys are gonna see a lot of cool stuff. Check this purse out. It's from 1919. It's Tiffany, and it's gold and diamond. And sapphires. And sapphire. And also, of course, this 19th century or 18th century pistol. It's really neat, the flat lock. But then this bag made completely of beads from the late 19th century. 19th century. It was really cool. Look, there's a totem pole back there. That is from 1885. That is really neat. Some cool stuff here. Tap through it. Check out this helmet over here. It is a Japanese helmet from the 1500s. It's kind of amazing. Check out all the detail in that. That is really cool. I got this bell from a Buddhist temple. Get the carvings in it. This is from the late 1800s, the Qing Dynasty in 1886. Oh, look at that. Okay, in the prehistoric section, check that bad boy out. And then Heather's over here next to my favorite. There's a big dinosaur footprint. Look, it's cute. A little fossilized eggs. Check out this bad boy. Those are more eggs. Oh look, it's a fossilized bone. Yeah, these are reptile classes. These are legit. And it's pretty. We got a lot more different fossilized material here. And of course you can't you can't talk about fossils out of trilobite. Probably the most common fossil in prehistoric times. Here's a casting of a dinosaur footprint. Now guys, Dinosaur Valley, Texas has some legit footprints. What is it? Oh wow. I think prehistoric ones did. Like, there's my hand. Yes. That's huge. Oh yeah, they're eating each other. Look at that. That's so gross. Here's some fossilized. Pretty cool stuff here. There's a crab. That's neat. And whatever those little sucker you looking things are. It doesn't really say what those no, are. They're just used in a lot of the displays. And you got some more. You got a jawbone here. Oh man, that's really weird. That's yeah, the tooth. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh wow. Is that a mammoth tusk? It was from a I don't know. What does it say? Up here. Glacier, so yeah, probably. Oh look at yeah, yeah, right down here. Large oh there. And here's this jawbone with its teeth in it. Wow, that's amazing. You got some smaller animals here. It's huge. Yeah. I always love the dinosaur section. It's all my favorite. 
Now it's time to go to ancient Egypt. Got this guy right here. It's King Ramses. Wow, this is amazing. Some legit. Thirty two hundred BC. Wow, that's old. Some of this stuff. I think it's the back one that has the right back there. The oh wow. It's been a while, but you can see. I'm not gonna Heather does not want to see. <laughs> Anyways, check this out. That's really cool. Yeah it is. It's a model. The Hypo South Hall. Every one inch equals two feet, it says, so that goes on okay. the scale. So this right here is probably four foot tall. So <laughs> um, yeah, twelve times four, that's a lot. It's 80, 88 feet tall if this was four foot. So this would be an 88 feet from the ground Don't to the touch. ceiling. I'm not touching. So we'll take a look walking down the side here. Yeah. Heather's scared there's a real life mummy in here. Check out that. This is like legit. Okay. So there is a sarcophagus in here. Check out some of this. What is this? Cats. It's a goat. Oh, yeah. It's a female goat. Yeah. It's mummified cats. It's no, you can't, it's just a sarcophagus. It's not showing anything. It's still gross. Yeah, I know there's a body inside of it. I'm trying to find the literature here to see if it says. I know Heather is here. Coffin. Okay. Yeah, there's one it was found in its tomb. This is the actual coffin. This is really cool. Yeah, it is. Get these tablets here. Give you a closer look at this. That's so cool. Here's an image of Queen Nefertiti. See everything. Was she one eyed? That's weird. Did not know that. Okay, looks like there's a little bit more of the ancient Egypt stuff in this room. They're actually working in here right now. Yep. It's a tap of cloth. That's a sweet turkey. Yeah, look at that turkey. Gobbledy gobble. So this is cool. This is from John James Audubon, who, as we all know, discovered a majority of species of birds we know, and he illustrated them like this. They're beautiful illustrations. Yeah, they are. You see the detail. It's pretty amazing. This is cool. This is an exhibit on first settlers of Tennessee, which is usually this exhibit here is talking about the first people to live in Tennessee, which were the Native Americans. You know, we got some little 
Well, this place here in the floor. Now we got some other cool stuff here. Some, some Indian tools. This is how to actually make an arrowhead. The video on how to do so. Which I actually know how to do. I've done it once before. And we got some earlier animals of Tennessee. Let's take a step around through here. You can see we got skeleton of a dog. And that's where the power up. Oh gosh, when we get demonetized, there's naked women. <laughs> we found one like that smooth stone in yeah. a garden once. Oh, it's like that one. I used to have one of these big ones. More like that one. Yeah. We used to find arrowheads and stuff all the time. But it was by a creek, so that made sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we got a really cool illustration of the Native American village. And uh, there's some buttons over here you press, like, for instance, the council house on the mounds where they always have, the men would have their meetings. And then you had where the men's house was, which is right here. And then, of course, the burrow pit, which is exampled right here where it lights up. And then they'd have their gardens. So now the Native American, the Cherokee Native American of East Tennessee, North Carolina, did not live in teepees like most people believe. They actually lived in buildings. Like this structure right here. Now this is really neat. This is a legit hand-carved canoe. Look how long these were. And they would use a tree and just carve it out of a large tree. And here's the tools they would use to carve it out. How long that thing is. I didn't realize they were that long. Yeah, it's about 25, 30 foot long, at least. And then look at, we got a we get into war times, here's a musket, flint lock, brass sword pummel. Some cool stuff in here. Here's some uh, Native American baskets that would hand weave. And uh, really cool. Your mom actually has some. Mm -hmm. From the Native American friends we have. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff here from the American Civil War. I'm kind of to let y'all get a look at it. Check out some of this cool stuff here. There's a war drum. Oh yeah, topographical map of Knoxville. From 1863. That's really cool. And the war drum. Drinking. And there's a bullet. So they keep their health. The drum is cool. The drum is really cool. Basically sheep. Yeah, basically leather stretched yeah. over. There's a telescope. And an old honest Abe. Is that his cane? No. Walking stick made of hickory loaned by the Lincoln Memorial. So this so was Abraham Lincoln's walking stick. That's cool. That's much cooler than the fake turd that was in that auditorium. It was a gift to him. That's cool. From Frank, B. Frank Winchester. Wow. That's incredible. Old eight of himself used that. Now here's some freshwater things found around here. Look at the size of that clam shell. Do you want me to stand next to it? Yeah. You can't it's, really tell them the picture. Like, I mean, that could eat your head. Your head... <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. And then all these other shells here. Yeah, that's just massive. 
And let's see what it says on it. Giant clam. <laughs> so here's pearl shells and they got holes on them because they're used to make these buttons. Other pearl. Different that's things. 36.5 carat that's natural an pearl. That's an expensive pearl. Yeah. They don't usually get that big. And then there's some Tennessee pearls. That's pretty neat. Okay, our final exhibit. And some uh, creepy things here, such as all these skulls. And it's about early man. So we're just going to kind of chase them. <laughs> that one just really cracks me up. Some of these skulls are... Uh... Focus. Check that skull out. Four hundred thousand to thirty thousand years ago. How old some of these are? Check out this skeleton. And here's highlighted some really important fossil signs, and it appears man changing over time. Let's look here. I'm going to write this. The first humans 1.8 million to 500,000 years ago. And these are, as you can tell, original skull pieces. This is pretty amazing. Let me look over here. Almost human. These are still Primate skulls. Check this out. It's the black spots in these are the part that's been reconstructed and not the part. Not the original. Are. Yeah. And this one is they call Lucy. And it talks about how unusual it is for her to have such long arms yeah like that goes it is kind of long arms isn't it yeah Very they're past they're below her hip so is his though it's a turkana boy true said he was probably 11 or 12 when he died no he was found in kenya yeah and then Lucy was Ethiopian. Check out some of these. Look at that one's head. It has this weird bridge on its of its head. Wow. That is unusual. Yeah. Look, here's some more footprints. Almost like Sasquatch like. It is. You know, maybe this is our proof of Sasquatch and we're just reviewing it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got Yeah. It's a horse leg. Wow. That's crazy, man. Yeah. And there you have it guys, the McClung Museum here in downtown Knoxville. Pretty cool place, a lot of very interesting stuff inside. Let me know down below what you liked best. And thank you guys for watching. If you want to support this channel, I do have a Patreon where I upload bonus content. And I have a spreadsheet where I sell t-shirts. But for now, y'all have a good one.